What's up guys, my name is Selena and today's going to be a new tutorial on how to do this pop out of screen effect. And I actually saw a tutorial on this from Brian Francisco and he did this in Final Cut Pro. So you should definitely check his channel out if you edit in Final Cut Pro. But for this video, we're going to be doing this in After Effects. So let's get started with the effect. Okay, so first you need to film a clip of your laptop and a green screen on the screen of the laptop. So I kind of just googled green screen or green background image and then I placed it as a full size image so that it takes up the entire laptop screen and then I just filmed it for about 40 seconds and yeah that's it. So I kept it on a tripod so it'll be still and pretty simple. Next thing you want to do is film the clip that you want something to pop out of. So I kind of just did the similar thing that Brian did in his tutorial. So I kind of held a paper and then placed it in front of the camera so that it could pop out when I'm editing. So this is what the clip looks like. But you could definitely do this with many different things, many different objects. I just feel like masking out a paper would be super easy. So I just chose to do that. And this is going to be in one of my upcoming videos, so ignore what it says on the paper and stuff. And I actually tried to film this clip on my Sony camera, but the autofocus was so bad. So I actually filmed this clip on my Canon T3i because uh, the autofocus was a little bit better. So yeah, just keep that in mind so that when you're playing the clip, your hand and the paper will still be in focus once you bring it in front of the camera. Okay, so now let's just go into After Effects. Okay, so I have my clip of the laptop on top, and then on the bottom I have the clip of me putting the paper in front of the camera. Okay, first thing we want to do is we just want to key out the green screen, so we're going to go to Effects and Presets and search up Levels. And we're only putting levels just so that we can adjust the contrast so we can make the green pop out a little bit more. Okay, after you kind of adjust the contrast, you can search up Color Key in Effects and Presets, and then we're going to press that dropper tool and then we're gonna click the green image and then we're gonna go to the color tolerance and then we're gonna bring that up so that it gets rid of most of the green now in my clip as you can see it doesn't take out all of it or else it'll start taking out the background so what I like to do is just go and search up another color key so I'm gonna search up key light and then I'm gonna go and press the drop dropper and then go to the excess green parts and we can adjust the other settings accordingly. So now you're gonna wanna go to the bottom clip and adjust the scale and position so it kinda matches the computer screen size. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go somewhere where the paper starts to go in front of the camera and whenever it starts to go outside of the laptop image, I'm gonna start masking. So once we find a place that we wanna mask, we're gonna go to the pen tool and then we're gonna create a mask surrounding the paper on the outside and we're gonna go down to the clip and go to the mask and press inverted so we can see that paper. Okay, the next part is a little bit tedious but you're gonna wanna press the mask path keyframe button and then you're gonna press command and the right arrow key and you're just gonna wanna go frame by frame adjusting the pen tool so that it still shows the paper because obviously your paper is going to be moving. So yeah, it's very tedious and it'll take long, but that's kind of how you have to make the effect. And honestly, I was thinking about it and you could definitely use rotoscope as well. It'll kind of be a different approach to doing this whole thing. Okay, so I did a little bit of some keyframes, but I'm going to go right before my first keyframe. And then I'm going to adjust the mask's pen tool so that it goes back towards the center of the laptop and it's basically nothing is being masked right now. Okay, yeah, so it's kind of a long process. I did some of it here, but it's a really cool effect. Uh, it just takes long to mask, but that's basically it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.